Hello everyone and welcome back if you're returning. If this is your first time clicking on my videos, hello and welcome and I really hope you do come back. So if you've never clicked on my videos before, I'm a seer so I tap into past, present, future energies. I'm a psychic medium and I'm a healer and I'm an open channel for spirit. So whatever comes through and these messages come through, I never fully know till I'm in the messages. Um, but chances are if you've been guided here for any reason, you could be a twin flame. Because I'm a twin flame myself, so all my messages right now are twin flame related. Um, I've become a bit of a twin flame guide, that's what I'm supposed to be doing for the time being. So hopefully you find the answers you're looking for here. Um, generally I feel you've been guided here for a reason. And most people who are guided to this channel, it's because they are a twin. So hopefully you find some, some clarity around your situation. So before I begin, as I always do, calling in my beautiful um, divine protection for myself and for you watching at home, I posted a short earlier, which is, um, it's a, I'm giving away those oracle decks. Now, a couple of them are used, they will be saged, um, but some of them are brand new and have never been used. Um, so the, I'm giving the prize away. Now, this prize will not be open, sadly, to every single one of my subscribers because I'm actually... Um, going back to my videos from last year and I'm choosing people who have been with my channel from the start who have commented under nearly every one of my videos so I'll be taking all of those names and putting them into some sort of um, bowl or tub and I'll be picking it live on air to see who wants to see who wins the, the oracle decks but there'll also be a few more gifts in there so I'm making some Reiki jewellery for you some Amazonite bracelets and some Reiki bracelets to balance out your chakras and things like that. And maybe a few other little mystery gifts thrown in there. So that prize is only for my subscribers that have been with me since the start, or more or less since the start. But I'm also running another competition, which I'm going to have a few things to give away as well for all my subscribers. It's open to everyone and I'll be coming with details of that very soon. It's just to celebrate getting to 7,000 subscriptions. Um, I'm just so absolutely overwhelmed with the love this channel gets and how much support and love it gets from people who I don't even know but yet I feel like I know you all so well. You feel I feel like you're, most of you are my soul tribe and we've all come together for a reason. Um, Another exciting news of the day is I am now, you can now become a, a member of my channel um, and which is going to give you extra videos just for members but also I'm going to do two live streams a month. One will be a general chat where we'll cover whatever is the topic that you want to talk about, where it's opening up to your gifts, what's going on in your twin flame journey. I can pull cards and answer some questions that way from angels and guides. Um, and it can t try and help you, you know, tap into your gifts and things. And I'll also do a live reading every month as well, live stream. Um, so there are a few other things going on there as well, but that is now available for anyone that wants to join. So, so today's been quite, a, quite an exciting day, all in. 7,000 subscriptions, getting my prize giveaway ready and also starting my membership. So no pressure to join. I You all come to watch my videos every day, I'll just say that now, there's no pressure to join at all. I just thought it was a nice way to connect us more because a lot of people have been emailing me asking if I if I do any mentoring programs, if I run any courses on teaching people tarot and things, and I don't do anything like that right now. But I thought if I do a once a month live stream where we can all come together and talk, I mean, we can always up, upgrade it to a Zoom um, meeting or something. But um, anyway, we, that is, that is what I'm offering right now and um, as I say, no pressure to join because you're always here anyway. But if you feel called to it and you want to do it, I'm going to start doing more more members videos just for those who have um, become members of the channel. So you can become a Violet Angel A-lister and you'll see all the details below this video, hopefully. So let's begin. Calling in my heavenly ancestors, my spirit guides, the archangels of love and light, and the ascended masters of the highest pure divine light. I call you in now for your love, guidance and protection throughout, as I bring forward a clear message for the Twin Flame Collective. I'm so sorry, my birth's already started. Thank you. Archangel Michael, can you please surround my children, my dog, my home and myself in a golden bubble of God's protective light at all times? as I bring forward a message for the Twin Flame Collective. 
Can I also request Archangel Michael that you surround whoever watches this message right now online, surrounding them, their loved ones, their homes and pets in a golden bubble of God's protective light also. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Archangel Metatron, can you please stabilise the connection between myself and spirit, ensuring that only clear and concise messages can come through for the Twin Flame Collective's highest and greatest good at all times. Thank you, Archangel Metatron. Sending love, light and gratitude to you all. And so it is. Okay, let's clear the energy and I'll tell you about tonight's message. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm actually bringing the sunshine tonight. This is like Archangel Jophiel's colour for me. Um, some people think Archangel Jophiel comes in in cerise pink, which for some people they might, but for me, it's always been this yellow and there's so many blessings coming in to the Twin Flame Collective. I feel it, so yeah, I'm bringing the sunshine tonight. So. Okay, and I should just say as well, um, I'm going to be doing a separate post for whose names are going to be in, in with a chance of winning the prize giveaway. And if you don't want to be in with a chance of winning it, just say you opt out. <laughs> so it's, it's cool either way. But that's, I'm, I'm going to be bringing more information in the next couple of days. So, okay. So before I touch any of the cards at all, when I was in the shower, I had quite a massive, um, quite a massive download come through, and I was trying to remember it all as I was rinsing the shampoo in my hair. Um, so the song that's coming through, um, is a song now. I think it's by Curtis Steigers, and it's called "I Wonder Why." Um, and I wonder why we hold on, and I think um, love is a hunger that burns in my soul. You never noticed the pain. Don't worry, that's off tune. <laughs> Love is an anchor that won't let me go. So I feel this is a masculine now, and this is a masculine who has never fully understood what this connection is. All they know is they cannot get you off their mind. Now I feel this person isn't eating as it's sleeping. Um, because I hear earlier on can't eat, can't sleep. So there's someone here who's not eating, not sleeping. They know there is a powerful love connection. They can't walk away. They feel there's been a lot of push-pull, maybe a bit of toxicity between you both in the past. Um, but I feel this masculine, now this masculine could have British um, heritage. They don't have to live in Britain, but they could have family. Now, I know there's a Cambridge somewhere else, um, maybe in America somewhere. But I heard Cambridge and Turnbridge, Turnbridge, Wales, which is quite a, a specific place. So this person could have either roots there or... Um, so Cambridge and... Now, there could be, as I say, there could be um, a place called Cambridge in America somewhere. But I felt when Cambridge and, and Turnbridge... I, I'm sorry to say Massachusetts. So maybe someone's got connections to Massachusetts as well. Um, so Turnbridge Wales come through. So somebody could have a mother or father from Turnbridge Wales in England or something like that. Now this masculine is very much clairvoyant, has probably all the clairs. Since they've met you, Divine Feminine, their gifts have opened up. But this, I feel this masculine struggling. Now either you're watching masculine and this is a message for you to don't panic you're not losing your mind because I feel this masculine is wondering what is going on right now they cannot um they cannot seem to um move away from the connection they have to you divine feminine as much as I feel they've tried to um but this love is anchored in and they know they can't just walk away but there's been this push pull they feel a very strong connection to you as I say I'm, I heard clairvoyant but I also heard paranormal activity now, for some of us, paranormal activity is just a normal daily occurrence. <laughs> so it doesn't really bother us. But for someone who's never 
really truly opened up to their spiritual side or to the fact that we're so closely connected with you know and um, the spirit world and things like that they would probably struggle with that and I feel this masculine is struggling with that to the point where I think he's thinking have I got some sort of mental illness have I got you know schizophrenia why am I seem to be picking up on people talking to me um, but also I think there's paranormal activity going on and this masculine could be thinking there's something not right here. So either this masculine's watching, and if you are a masculine, do not worry, it's perfectly normal. Um, but if this is a divine feminine, you could be watching this to reassure your masculine because it could be about to come in and tell you, I don't know what's happening to me. I, I think I need to go to get checked out or something because this, this and this is happening and it's not normal. So, Divine Masculine, if you, obviously, if you're not, if you're watching this and you're not a twin flame and you're you're not on any kind of spiritual journey, please do go and get checked out with your doctor. But if you're, if you know you're a twin flame, you know you are a, a Divine Masculine on some sort of spiritual journey and you can feel that you're connecting with the spirit realm and you're possibly hearing guidance coming through but you're ignoring it because you think it's paranormal activity or something, you maybe want to rush out and get a priest to bless your home. It's just, it's the divine trying to connect with you. It's your angels and the guides trying to connect with you. But if you're watching this, if you're not on a spiritual journey, then please go and get checked out. So that's what I have. So I wonder why by Curtis Stagger's a song. So that could mean something to someone. Um, certainly the lyrics definitely coincide with someone in a push-pull, someone who doesn't understand the connection. So... Um, now, I've not got a lot of cards out here. I'm going to use my, my little holographic tarot deck again because I didn't really give it a proper chance last night. I've got my music oracle deck, so this person could be connecting with you through music. I've got my guardian angel deck. I've got um, which energies are helping this masculine. I really feel the Pleiadians are with this masculine right now or trying to help this masculine. And that could be what's throwing the masculine off as well. Because if they're getting um, higher dimensional beings to helping them heal and step into their divine masculine energy fully, it can feel a bit strange, like otherworldly strange. So the masculine could be struggling with that. Um, I've got my my love oracle. So we'll see what wants to come through for the energy of this love connection. And I've also got messages from spirit guides. So enough chit chat Arling. let's move on so let's see i heard hopeless romantic so this masculine definitely has an inner hopeless romantic that probably you haven't even seen yet divine feminine <laughs> page of pentacles and six of pentacles so this masculine may be wanting to come in now and offer some sort of new beginning, an equal, um, an equal back and forth. Yeah, this person may have not been given equally to this connection before. They could have been a bit breadcrumby, a bit in and out your life, a bit wishy-washy. And as I've said before, and many of you watching will have heard this so many times, not just from me, but from other readers as well. And you are the one giving to your masculine all the time, they'll take. And they'll go back to their karmic situation and all the love and um, healing you've given your masculine, they will then give it to the karmic. And so it's like you, as I, as I say, you become like a bit of a drug to your masculine divine feminine because once they get a hit of you, if they get some intimate time with you, if they get some time alone with you to go for lunch, go for dinner, whatever this intimate, intimacy is, it might actually be intimacy. You give them that healing, you give them that drive then to go back to their karmic situations where they're usually miserable. They feel happier, they feel more prepared then to take on the karmic um, because they feel better in themselves because you've given them some healing, some TLC and some twin flame love, some divine love. So anyone who is in a twin flame, and I know there's a few of you who watch this channel who... You, you consider yourself your twin flames lover and that's fine if you're happy with that situation but just know that is all you will ever be and they will invest all that love and time you give to them they will then take it back to their karmic relationships so if you're making the choice that you want to just be your twin flames lover that's fine but you're 
your twin flame journey will never fully evolve um, um, unless you've had a separation completely. So, let's see. Let me see. What's coming through for this masculine picking up on here who's having a bit of a... <laughs> he's having a bit of a mad time of it. Seven of Pentacles. So, now this masculine could could be ready to plant some seeds here for this connection, but I feel this is manifestations could be coming in here. Or this masculine is manifesting something. I do get the energy of manifesting. Tell me more. Okay, five of swords, nine of wands. So this masculine could be trying to figure out here. Now this masculine could have invested in a lot of toxic um, behaviour. He could have invested in toxic situations as opposed to this connection and it's left him, I feel it's left him drained. It's left him exhausted. He is going through some sort of awakening, but he's confused. He's confused. Like, I almost feel, when I'm looking at this person looking down here at the Seven of Pentacles, I almost feel that's a masculine sort of sitting, looking down, just like, I don't know what's happening. Is something meant to be happening? I'm not sure what's going on. I feel that. This masculine is kind of like, I feel there's something should be going on here, but I just don't know what I'm meant to be doing. I feel he feels a bit stuck. But I feel like he is also being in quite a toxic, yeah. Do you have source? This masculine has been in quite a toxic behaviour pattern. Now this could be because he's been hurt in the past, because of the three of, um, sorry, because he could have been hurt in the past, because this person seems to be moving forwards away from the heartbreak. So this, this masculine could have been betrayed and hurt in a previous relationship. Um, or it could be something to do with his childhood that's kind of holding him back. But let me see. Clarify the Three of Swords, please, for this masculine. Clarify the Three of Swords for this masculine. So he either, um, yeah, I do think this masculine is dealing with some sort of heartbreak from the past. Mm -hmm. Emperor. And the Knight of Cups. So whatever went on in this masculine's past has held them back from bringing in an offer to you. Now, it could have been the Emperor, obviously, the father figure as well, um, a boss, a father figure, boss daddy energy, but also a husband. So this masculine could have been, he ha could have had fatherly or husbandly responsibilities to another situation that stopped this masculine moving forward with a romantic offer towards you. But I feel that's all changing. Um, I feel that's changing, this masculine. I feel this masculine really needs your, <laughs> really needs your guidance right now, Divine Feminine. Yeah, there, I mean, we've just had the three of ones, now we've got the two of ones. So I feel that that's what this, this masculine is confused. Like one minute they're sorry, my hair's still soaking. One minute they're okay, I'm ready to move move past the heartbreak here. And then suddenly they're back to but there's something I just don't get about this. I think this connection in general is really confusing this masculine. But he has got really he has got really beautiful spiritual gifts here. Four of Swords. He's definitely been spending time healing, recovering, he could have, yeah, I do feel this masculine thought that he had some sort of mental illness, this masculine could have thought he could have been going to a psychologist or a psychiatrist or a therapist or something saying I think something's wrong with me, what's, what's going on with me, because I do feel he's recovering, um, now you could be recovering from a heartbreaking situation with a third party here, or or you. I mean, it doesn't matter who the third party is, because sometimes the divine feminine's a third party, sometimes the karmic's a third party. But it could be healing from a heartbreaking situation in a previous relationship here. So now this two of cups coming upside down. So this masculine could have been in a a not a a loving connection, and that's why they're now heartbroken because this person. Could have um, 
no offer due, love. Look, the two of cups has come out the right way up now. Wow. <laughs> oh my God, look. Oh, how's, that is amazing. So they just gave me the two of cups upside down. This mask comes in a, a non two of cups relationship. And then they gave me the two of cups straight back out upright with the chariot. So this masculine has been stuck in a really heartbreaking, um, I feel this connection really damaged their self-esteem, their confidence, um, I feel it damaged their mental health. But this masculine is now, <laughs> I just feel like he's struggling to understand his gifts, he's struggling to understand what this is, but he knows, he now knows who he loves. Yeah, he knows who he wants to take a leap of faith towards. He knows exactly who he loves, but he's trying to figure out what is happening to me. Mm. Five of Wands. But he has been dealing with a lot of... Um, I'm, I've just heard aggressive people, because I don't normally get aggressiveness from the Five of Wands. That to me is just like arguments and things. But this masculine could have actually been dealing with a relationship where he was with an abusive, um, because I just heard ag aggressive people. Yeah, look, wow, the devil card. Oh, I'm going to cover that with it. Um, this masculine was in a very, very toxic situation. But they're now making forward movement here at Eight of Wands. They're coming. I do feel this mask is going to need your support. But if you're watching masculine, it's time to go towards your divine feminine and get some support. And also just keep up your prayer and connection with God right now. Because I feel whatever this masculine has dealt with has been really pretty grim. Judgment, Six of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Now, i done a pre-shuffle here before I started this message. And I got the Emperor, the Star, the Sun and the Three of Cups. So I know the Emperor is heading towards happiness here and fulfilment. But there's something, there's somebody or some people under heavy judgment here for past actions. Six of Cups during a Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups situation. So, I'm going to put them back in, but there's some, somebody, yeah, <laughs> Ace of Swords, that's the truth. This masculine has been dealing with something really unpleasant, and there's somebody under heavy judgment here. And it could have been to keep this masculine stuck in a family situation that maybe he wasn't supposed to be responsible for. They've just given me them again. <laughs> Six of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, this is something, this is to do with some sort of, um, now the Ten of Pentacles is legacy. It can be family inheritance. It can be family wealth. And the Six of Cups is childhood. Um, so this could be something to do with the masculine's um, been held back to see and there's a ten of cups in the bottom and there's a king of wands so now this masculine may also be coming towards you for his ten of pentacles and ten of cups that's why they gave me the cards out again but in a different order so this could definitely be um but the six of cups tells me there's something the masculine has dealt with in the past that stopped them coming towards you for ten of pentacles, ten of cups, but I think it's to do with a, a family situation. Now, as I say, they could have been the father. Yeah, look, judgment and truth, judgment and the ace of swords. I mean, again, they're just giving me the same cards. So there is divine justice and divine truth is coming to light here, possibly of a family that held this masculine back from his divine journey because of um well they, they you know could have made this masculine leave you out in the cold divine feminine or this masculine now feels in the five of pentacles and needs some help because there has been an ending and then to all the distractions it's kept look yeah because that came out in the pre-shuffle as well seven of cups 
there's been an end to the illusions they put over this masculine to keep them distracted from you, Divine Feminine. Now, I don't know if this is their partner, their wife, their mother, their father. Um, Queen of Swords. Whoever it is, it's a Divine... Not a Divine Feminine. It's opposite of Divine Feminine. It is a karmic feminine. Whether it's a mother, a wife. <coughs> <coughs> They could have been keeping this masculine stuck in a family situation, you know, be responsible for your kids and maybe the kids weren't even his, that type of thing. But this masculine has been dealing with a lot of toxicity and aggressiveness. So, Page of Cups, King of Swords. So, yeah, this, I feel this was, this masculine was married to this karmic feminine, distorted feminine, and... He wants to apologise for possibly dismissing the connection they have with you because now they know they love you. King of Pentacles. This person now wants to be someone you can trust, yeah. But they, they have worked hard to try and keep this a secret from you. Now you might not have known they were another connection or if you did Divine Feminine you may not have known exactly what, what they were dealing with. I mean, this person, but yeah, I just get this masculine does not, they do not know what this connection is with you. They just know they have a powerful connection they can't get away from. But I think you were sent into this masculine's life to get him out of this toxic relationship. He could have, been, I mean, doesn't matter if it's man or woman, women can be aggressive and very violent towards men as well. And men don't tend to fight back. Um, and I do feel this masculine is dealing with a very aggressive energy here. So, Five of Cups. This masculine has got so much regret here. And I've got the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Cups. They, they regret not defending. Yeah, they do, look, they regret not defending the Queen of Cups. They, they regret not defending the women they love. Yeah, they, they regret not defending the woman they love. Mm. Tell me more about this masculine before I move on. Tell me more about this masculine. Well, that's the cards I was seeing earlier. So look, this, which now, this masculine is now in his feels. King of Cups and Eight of Cups and Ten of Swords. So this King of Cups is now walking away from any betrayal here from the past. Going straight towards happiness and joy with the sun. Mm -hmm. Justice for the lovers. Justice for this love connection. Yeah. Temperance. Archangel Michael has been protecting this love connection, but there has been something really toxic been going on to this masculine. And I think he definitely will want to, or she, as if you take it, that resonates for whichever, um, you know, whichever this is, divine, feminine, masculine, he, she, whatever. But I, I'm just saying he, he will, or she will, um, be wanting to explain this to you. But there's a chariot again. They're going to want to explain to you that they were in a toxic relationship. That's why they might have ghosted you or pushed you away or something. But as I say, they know they're in, they know they're in a connection with you. They know there's a divine connection. There was definitely something here about holding on to this masculine for their pentacles, their ten of pentacles. Yeah, that's the trick. Yes, the sun. But I think when this... Oh look, there's six of wands as well. This masculine... Um, when he was in to speak his truth here about this Queen of Swords they were connected to, they come in and offer some sort of apology. It's going to lead to this happiness and joy and victory with the Six of Wands. And there is some sort of message coming in from this masculine with the Page of Wands being here. So, Tower, yeah. Tower. So... 
and there's a three of cups I got in the pre-shuffle as well. So this, this is going to come in for a celebration here with this emperor. And yeah, look, I kept on, in the pre-shuffle, the seven of cups kept on coming out. So there's been some sort of illusions or manipulation done to this masculine to get them to walk away from you. Yes, seven of swords, eight of pentacles. So it was to try and stop the masculine, um, keeping them in a sort of deceptive um, energy. So they would keep leaving you out in the cold. Five of swords, five of pentacles. This person was investing in toxicity, basically. Um, yeah, they had to get balance back. They... This, so I just saw the Ace of Swords and the Four of Wands. So the truth will literally bring you both back into union here when this masculine speaks the truth. Yeah, the Emperor. Um, but as I say, this masculine is struggling with his gifts. I do feel that he is struggling to understand his gifts. Like, wh what is this? What are these gifts? Um, I do think he wants to speak to you about that, but. This masculine definitely has walked away from something toxic. So let's see, let's get some, let's get some love. Let's get some love oracle, true love oracle. Let's see what's been going on. Let's see what's been going on and then I'll get my, I'll get some, I'll get some ascension details to find out. I do feel Palladian energy. Let's see what's been going on. 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 A very compatible so you and this masculine have a very compatible connection over and above your twin flame connection you're both just very compatible you could be compatible in zodiac signs as well look love compatibility <laughs> love compatibility so you and this masculine are very compatible in love regardless of your twin flame connection i feel like your personalities you're just um so compatible as well Anything else? Just love compatibility. That's all they want to give me for this deck. Anything else from this deck? Thank you. <laughs> Sexual freedom. Now, somebody put out put a comment, the same person who I, I didn't approve the comment because they, they were condemning the Bible, but they actually made reference to, excuse me, the fact that we're, we're taught that to be kind to ourselves in this area and that's all i'm going to say is wrong it's sinful it's not good but actually the the love connection you have with your person is the the connection the intimacy is very very powerful and it's connects you both fully with the divine but when you um diy in this area as well that also um, connects you to the divine. It's not as sinful. And when we talk about self-love, self-care, it definitely refers to that as well. Um, now, I'm not saying become dependent on that, especially for the, the masculines out there. Um, I'm just saying it's a perfectly natural thing and it's been, your body has it for a reason. But this, I feel, this is just saying that this couple are definitely coming into this beautiful... Um, sexual freedom just to me that this couple are going to be very free and freeing with each other um, very much liberated in their yeah, yin yang so this is just like sexual union for me this is just like a very potent sexual union coming in for this twin flames now as I say the sexual freedom card just because um, if you look at that it's kind of over a, a vegetarity symbol as well and the lotus flower is like peace and harmony so i feel when this twin flame couple comes back together here they're very compatible 
I've got a love compatibility out with her twin flame connection, but they're going to also be very compatible in the boudoir as well. But yeah, I just wanted to say that, like, don't ever feel um, like your self-love covers that as well. And it's actually a very, it actually connects you more fully with, um, it, it actually connects you more with the divine. So don't ever, because I used to always think it was wrong as well, but no, it's, it's definitely not. Um, so let's see, anything else? Please and thank you. Ooh, distorted masculine. So your masculine has been in distorted energy in the past, which uh, we could see from the tarot they definitely were because they chose toxicity over their divine connection. So they have been in very distorted energy and I kind of felt that um, that they were disorientated, never mind distorted. They're just wondering what is going on. I feel like they're trying to figure things out. They're trying to figure out their own worthiness. As I say, this, whatever this toxic relationship that your masculine was in, it really knocked their self-esteem. It made them distorted. It made them not see their own worthiness here. Um, but they're they're definitely becoming more spiritually mature. They're definitely becoming <clears throat> stronger within themselves. I mean, they're definitely moving up into kind of emperor mode. Yeah, their vibrations rising. This is all about vibration rising. So the masculine's vibration is rising now, which is good because it means he's moving out of this distorted energy. He's finding his self-worth again. He's finding he's finding freedom in his his own finding freedom in his own belief system and things like that. Whereas I feel like he was very closed off with whoever he was connected to, whoever this Queen of Swords is. Um can I get anything else from this deck before I move on? Thank you. Sexuality. So, this masculine could have been too focused on lower vibrational things for sure, but um, he definitely could have had somebody who was around him who was keeping him in those kind of lower vibrational energies. But I also think that he has definitely a lot of sexual desires coming through for you, Divine Feminine. That possibly he's trying to temper a bit now because he doesn't want to come across as just being a bit of a, you know, he doesn't want to just think he's coming in the lustful energy. I feel like he's trying to temper his sexual urges for you as well. Let me see. Anything else, please, for this connection? Do you want anything else from this deck, please? So, my favourite card out of this entire deck. I love this card. So this masculine does want to come in here and offer some sort of commitment to you, okay? Um, and this, you're both going to, because look at this, there's two people here who are very creative together. But I also think this masculine is going to find a creative way to offer you commitment. Now I told you at the start that I, I felt this masculine wasn't eating, wasn't sleeping. But I do feel he's preparing. And you could be seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities coming in for this masculine. He's not eating, he's not sleeping, he's falling into some sort of dark night of the soul. But at the same time, he is planning and, and preparing. And he's stepping into this energy. He has, he's found his self-respect again. I feel like he was in this energy. So if you look at this distorted masculine sitting here he's kind of cowering down he doesn't know what to do he's kind of closed off he, you know there's chaos going around about him he doesn't know where to start his life's just chaos he's he's barely letting the sun in to the the picture here um but look he's found his self-respect and the light's shining on him again and now he's walking up towards that this is like um ascension He's ascending past all the old, like his vibration is rising, but I feel like he is finding a creative way to offer you commitment here. 
yeah he's becoming emotionally free if he's been closed off emotionally to love he's now look he's finding emotional freedom just by being in this connection with you divine feminine so it's like you loving them has given him a safe space to to be emotional and vulnerable now too this connection has given this masculine the gift of being vulnerable I don't think he's ever been able to be vulnerable because whoever he was connected to, yeah, resolving conflict. It was just conflict and spiritual maturity. Yeah, that's what I was feeling. This masculine is growing and, yeah, he's, he's focusing on his own garden right now. He's tending to his own needs. He's finding self-respect again. He's growing, um, you know, he's, he's growing as a person in separation from you, Divine Feminine. But this is such a beautiful love compatibility as well. I mean, as well has been a very passionate twin flame connection because we've had all the, the sexuality cards come out here. There's love. There's commitment coming in. And I do feel this masculine is trying to find a creative way to come in. Yeah, the Rainbow Reviver. This is all about happiness and joy and, again, high vibrational energy. This masculine has grown spiritually and matured spiritually and now he's coming in in this new positive energy yeah emotional freedom again the gardener yep yeah, he's he's looking after his own garden he's tending to his own needs for now yeah he's trying to and look i just got distorted masculine and then um worthiness and then the divine masculine so this masculine has definitely been working on himself i feel like he's transforming himself for you divine feminine um and i know it shouldn't be done for anyone else but i feel like this masculine really feels like they owe you this like they owe you this um special special time with you is going to be very important to them and they feel like they owe you this transformation because you've been so kind to them so aquarius the moon and third house or the number three so pisces the number one and what's that oh neptune i'm going to put on my glasses to make it easier to see so aquarius and pisces gemini a lot of air energy coming through um but i get the queen of swords king of swords the number eight and Uranus. So Virgo, the number nine and the moon. So, so far, a lot of earth and air. Aquarius, the number one again and the moon just the same again. Libra, yes, so much air. Um, North Node and the number one again. Virgo, the sun, and the number four, one more row. Aries, the number eight again, and Venus. I'm back to Gemini again. So Gemini, Neptune, and the number four. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Virgo, and Aries are the main signs coming through. And it was Neptune, Venus, Uranus. And the sun and the moon came through. Um, I can't remember the numbers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so where will I go now? Let me get some. Like we'll, we'll see what's going on. Um, the energies that's helping this. Oh, my nose is itchy. See what energies are helping this masculine with his ascension process. And then I will get um some spirit guide cards. So nature and palace Athena. Ooh, I've never so we'll see if that comes out naturally. Um the nature card can definitely really everyone because everyone should be connected to nature. That's a given for us all, for all divine beings. So I'll do this and I'll get a spirit card and a little song and a guardian angel card finish. Oh my nose. <laughs> Tickling my nose like mad now. Can I get some um energies that are helping this masculine? Okay. Interesting. So Serapis Bay, Lord Kameka, um, the Moon and Kwan Yin. So anything else? 
not going to have too many because my throat starts to dry up really, really quickly. Serious. That's a big hitter to come out. Water. <laughs> well, there's so Marco and the Pallides. Okay. So let me see here. So Lord Kameka, Kameka came from another universe to set the conditions for the golden age of Atlantis with Archangel Metatron. He has returned to be Chohan of the Eight Three, a soul ray of purification, enlightenment, and communication. When you receive this card, you're on a quest for enlightenment. So the masculine is definitely on a very powerful quest for enlightenment here. Your guidance is to breathe Kumeka's blue, topaz light into your aura, expand your attitude to one of unconditional love, acceptance of others and personal responsibility. Kumeka will open new doors for you and guide your footsteps towards enlightenment and ascension. So definitely they're helping the masculine through their ascension. I call on Lord Kumeka to enlighten and support me at this time. So Serapis Bay. Serapis Bay was keeper of the white ascension flame in Atlantis and is now Chohan of the 4-3 of Harmony. He is known as the Egyptian because he worked with Archangel Metatron to suffuse the Great Pyramid with cosmic wisdom energy at the time of its construction. By drawing this card, you're invited to stand within the white flame and feel its influence. Connect with Serapis Bay and draw his ten draw his energies of wisdom, cooperation and dedication to you now. He is the only master to work with the, the Seraphims and they will shower you with blessings as you as you tune into this Ascension card. I walk with Serapis B. Now that's that card's amazing because um a few nights ago during my meditation I had this beautiful white energy come through and it said it was Serapis B so Whoever's this masculine and feminine is, it could be dealing with this energy. Very, very beautiful, very powerful energy coming through. So water, water permeates everything, including the cells of your body. It carries pure divine love and special qualities that can assist ascension. Poseidon is in charge of the waters. Neptune is his elemental master and directs the undines. Ask them to cleanse. Now, we definitely had Neptune come out a few times in the dice there as well. Ask them to cleanse emotions, emotionally based illnesses and relationship difficulties. Your guidance is to bless water everywhere to bring it into the fifth dimension. Ask Poseidon to link you to the music of the spheres, to access the sounds of your to access the sounds of your perfect divine blueprint and start to reinstate it. Your affirmation, water, I love you, bless you, and thank you. I direct you to spread love round the planet. So the moon, the moon is a causal ch uh, chakra of the universe and radiates divine feminine energies. Call on it to cleanse your aura and energize you. Remember the influences of the, the celestial body is always there, whether you can see it or not. When you're offered this card, you're called on to practice your feminine qualities of love, wisdom, compassion, intuition, inclusiveness, discernment and oneness. Your guidance is to go within and seek answers from your huge font of wisdom, the moon will bring you clarity so that you can flow with the currents of ascension. I listen to my divine feminine wisdom. So the masculine's definitely um opening up more to his feminine side now. And it's strange because I did hear when I was in the shower too much testosterone. So this masculine could have been too much in his masculine side and it makes me think he definitely was because of Quan Yin being here as well. So there's definitely um the masculine is definitely getting pushed to tap in more to this beautiful feminine energy. Quan Yin is the master of the 12th ray of unconditional love. She radiates a vibrant, cerise pink light of divine feminine energy, love and compassion. Quan Yin is re-empowering women everywhere and bringing forward feminine wisdom in them. She's inviting you to develop your divine feminine qualities, including your healing abilities. Find ways to nurture and empower others and yourself. Give yourself permission to go with the flow and share with everyone for the highest good. This will subtly affect your stellar gateway chakra and build the an, sorry the Antikarana bridge to source. I act from divine feminine wisdom. 
So I do feel the masculine is definitely tapping into his divine feminine energy here, for sure. Master Marco represents the highest galactic confederation of our solar system, the capital of which is on Saturn. He liaises with Commander Ashtar of the intergalactic fleet to bring us the wisdom and knowledge held by stellar cultures. He also assists Hilarion and the fifth ray of technology, science and knowledge to enable people to expand their highest mental abilities and develop spiritual technology for the future. Your guidance is to open your mind to communication and connection from other star systems and universe and ask Marco to assist and protect you. I am open to wisdom from the stars. So this masculine could be getting a lot of downloads here about um, forward thinking, you know, te technological advancement, science. I mean, Hilarion helps with like scientific advancement and coming up with new genius ways to treat different um, illnesses and things. So this masculine could be really getting some sort of download here about working with the higher dimensions to bring forward some beautiful new te technological advancement to help people in the world. Sirius, the star system of Sirius holds, holds 12 of the universal keys to enlightenment and ascension. When you access and comprehend them, you become a master of the universe. This card invites you to visit the training schools and University of Sirius in your sleep in order to develop your higher mind, access the spiritual laws of alchemy and magic, understand sacred geometry and tune in to angels, sonics and higher dimensions. This is an opportunity to learn through the inner, the inner planes about spiritual technology and bring it forward for the new golden age. I am open to the higher wisdom of Sirius. So this masculine is definitely working with so many huge energies here. Um, the Pleiadians are great healers. They love Earth and all who live on her. By drawing this card, you are being invited to open your heart to Pleiadian healing. Let them unfold you in their loving healing blue light so that their wisdom and gifts flow through you now. When you have absorbed these qualities into your energy field, pass them on to others. Remember that the animals who come from the Pleiades, sheep, pandas and pigs, heal people and the land around them. Bless them and honour them for they work for your planet. I open my heart to love and healing from the Pleiades. So this masculine really is getting so much love and support here. Really big energies. I mean, um, I mean they are, I mean, to have, to have um, Marco and Serapis B and Sirius come out in like one set of cards, that is pretty powerful energy. Let's see what this masculine spirit guides could be helping them with now. Ancestors, historical connections and purposes. So this masculine has got historical ancestors. Um, so that can be, you know, just historical figures that this masculine's got a bloodline to. Um, definitely could be shamanic healer. Because if Kuan Yin's helping this masculine open up to their healing gifts as well, their divine feminine side and their healing gifts. Let's see. Can you tell me please what this masculine spirit guides are helping them with right now? We'll definitely be helping them get on top of their gifts and not to fear their gifts. Yeah. Because this masculine, as I say, higher self, sacred intuition. This masculine is got powerful clears, all the clears. This masculine can hear perfectly crystal clear through the dimensions. But he, I feel like he's scared of it. He thinks there's some sort of paranormal activity going on around him. But I think his guides are trying to help him to tap into it as opposed to like, don't run from this. Tap into your, tap into your um, gifts here. What else is the spirit guides um, and the ancestors helping this masculine achieve right now? Archangel Zagiel, self-acceptance, compassion and forgiveness. So we did see the self-respect card um, and we saw the worthiness card. I feel like Archangel Zagiel is basically trying to get this masculine to have compassion and forgiveness for themselves for the way they treated you, Divine Feminine, but also... I think they're trying to get them to forgive whoever this toxic energy was they were connected to. So ascended masters, devoted spirits with specific intentions. So the masculine has so much powerful 
energies around them this time. They ascended masters as well. And the prosperity card, abundance and success. So the guides are pushing these, um, the ancestors and the ascended masters and so many archangels and beautiful high dimensional energies are trying to really push this masculine to be his, his best version of himself. There's, I just feel like don't don't be don't be afraid of your your magical gifts. Look, Archangel Raziel. So wisdom, inspiration, and Akashic records. Now Archangel Raziel um helps you open up to your magic as well. This this masculine is so much more powerful than they realise. They don't have a mental illness. They they just have really powerful intuitive gifts. Uh, yeah, clairvoyant abilities and psychic abilities. Letting go of the urgency. So surrender, freedom from time constraints. Now, this is an important one for all divine feminines, divine masculines. As soon as you let go of the... Now, I've let go of the expectancy and I, I always... <laughs> I I could not let go of, like, at, you know, when's it going to happen? Is it going to happen soon? Is it going to... In meditation, like... So give me some information. When's it going to happen? When's it going to happen? You know, and um, but then now I've stopped caring when it's going to happen. <laughs> I'm like, I'm good on my own. I feel good on my own. I'm just happy doing my thing. Ha you know, sending love out to the collective and bringing forward the message I have to. And when my person comes back, I'll be ready and open to them coming back and we can talk. But um, I don't know when it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen, but when, it, when it's going to happen, I don't know. And I'm okay with that. So the Divine Masculine has been told, like, don't rush. You you need to prepare yourself here. You need to focus on your own healing journey. Hope, optimism and new beginning. You are going to get a new beginning, Divine Masculine. You are going to get a chance to return here to the one you love. But chill. You're working with some of the most amazing legends in the universe. <laughs> You're working with, you know, some beautiful, beautiful spirit guides, some archangels. You have so much love and support coming in here for you from the entire universe. So just chill. Go with the flow. Because this masculine is desperate to return to you, but he knows... Because as I say, this mask is not eating, they're not sleeping. I feel they are so, you know, they're so miserable without you. Talent guide, spirit mentors and teachers. So this masculine has definitely had, is definitely getting some one-to-one -one spirit guide attention. Um, now this masculine could be stepping into that energy himself, but I do feel like he's definitely getting a lot of, one-to-one -one spiritual mentors here. They could be some of the ascended masters. Beneath the surface, hidden truths, something unknown. So the guides have been helping this masculine A, see through the illusions because we kept on getting the seven of cups. But I think they're trying to push this masculine to actually reveal his truth to the divine feminine. I mean, but I think this is also saying there's a lot going on underneath the surface with this masculine that you don't know. And I think that's very true for a lot of divine feminines. As I always say, like, we all, we just assume, don't we, that our masculines are off, like, having a real old time, partying like it's 1999. <laughs> and just, like, you know, like, you know, women dripping off their arms, like P. Diddy or something in the back of a limo. But quite, quite, um, often, it's, I don't know where I got P. Diddy from, I don't even know if he's, is he still P. Diddy? I don't know. Don't know what he calls himself now. Um, but anyway, this, I, I just feel this masculine, yeah, this masculine has been going through a terrible time. If you think they rejected you for something that they thought was better, trust me, they rejected you out of fear, I feel, from this toxic situation. Somebody, as I say, either somebody they had kids with, somebody they were married to, this person really had some sort of toxic hold over your masculine. Um, but I feel this is the case for a lot of masculines. You think they're all having a great time when actually they're going through something really bad. Um, family tree. 
so yeah this mask could definitely have been dealing with a toxic family situation because look it came out right after the hidden truth family tree and hidden truth so there's something about this mask one's ten of pentacles childhood ten of pentacles he could have been set up with a wife that was you know controlling him with his family and you might think that sounds far-fetched but nothing is far-fetched anymore <laughs> sometimes it's like the the masculine's stuck in a marriage because their partner is working with their family to keep them stuck you know that that happens definitely something here hidden truths come to light divine <clears throat> so divine presence the force of love and creation so this masculine is really is really surrounded by so much white light and healing here uncontrolled feelings emotional storm so whatever truth this masculine found out about this family situation it could have been something like he wasn't the father of a child that he'd been supporting all, all their life or something anything like that some some secret in a family situation um pushed this masculine over the edge and put them into the three of swords into a tower but ultimately, it set them on the course back towards you, Divine Feminine. So, it was, guess, yeah, look. I told you this mask was been, was been manipulated here. So, somebody keeping them stuck, keeping them away from you. Um, this is all about whispering the ear. So, it says emotional influence, exactly. Somebody had a real hold over this masculine's um emotional manipulation of the highest here and the masculine saw the truth mm -hmm. give me a couple more cards with this what the spirit guys are helping the masculine with right now <laughs> conscious steps considered action looking forward they're helping him move away here they're helping him take steps away from this toxic situation um they're helping him walk away here six of swords Eight of Cups energy, animal energy empowers animal totem. So I did see the nature card that wanted to come out another day. This masculine has a very beautiful connection to nature. Um, now he could have a telepathic connection with animals as well, spirit animals. In fact, I should get a spirit animal for him now. I'm seeing that card, but he could definitely have um, you know, he could have like a telepathic connection with nature, but also. He could have because it says anim, it says animal energy and powers so he has powers connected to to animal totems as well um i mean a lot of my um downloads and things come through spirit animals so it could be a very similar thing you know animal totems that come in and bring them the masculine different meshes and things so kinship yeah this they're trying to look the guys are trying to help this masculine or that they've already done it they're now helping him heal break free of this toxic attachment here this emotional yeah they're like time to relax my friend you've been through enough you've been through enough of a niche storm just let, let us heal you let us hold you let us be there for you and i think divine feminine you're going to you know be there for your masculine as well when they come back Let's get a guardian angel card for this masculine. And then we'll get a song to finish. So intuition, yeah, acceptance. This masculine's definitely got a very strong in intuition, no doubt about it. But they do think they're going mad. Creativity again. So you and this masculine are going to have very creative ideas together. As I say, this masculine's getting some sort of download about futuristic. So manifestations and patience so I, seven of pentacles was the first card out so this masculine has definitely been manifesting you or you've been manifesting them but i think they're just saying don't rush because things are all coming together here yeah trust and conflict yeah this masculine's definitely dealt with a lot of conflict so so i'll read out the, the cards so which one will i read out first so trust, conflict. Okay, let's do this one. There's, oh, I'm trying to lift them off the table. <laughs> My nails are not lifting them right. Okay. Okay, so let's see. So 
oneness um someone you dearly miss is forever present in your heart remember dearest one that even though there has been a physical a physical parting spiritually those we love never leave us creation is eternal nothing is over only missing no sorry nothing is over nothing is over truly missing for all is interconnected and ultimately one so that's a card of one so i don't read that very well because it's quite small writing but there's just in saying nothing is missing you are always even though someone's physically not with you they're always with you there's always a oneness there so trust you're looking at a situation from a purely physical perspective and therefore you cannot see the bigger picture um the blessings and the blessings intertwine within this event we your angels urge you to trust for all will work out in the best way possible let go of your fear and apprehension and allow god's healing energy to flow to you now trust for all all will heal in ways you never thought possible so again that's just saying look trust although you, you're not physically with your person this could be for your masculines as well they're not physically with you but they've been told to trust that you are with them you know there's no you don't need to rush back to them heal yourself first because you're always with them intuition trust your intuition and know that what seems logical may not necessarily be right the answer is your question lies inside your heart endless possibilities exist for you stop trying to work work it all out and feel your way through we your angels will give you all will, will guide you trust your feelings and what feels right is the right thing so again this mask has been pushed to tap in more to his intuition the prayer dear guardian angel to you i pray when I'm fearful, help me remember that only love is real. When I am lost, help me find my way. When I am confused, help me to regain clarity. When I feel lonely, help me feel your loving presence. When I, when I perceive chaos, help me to see order. Thank you. So this mask has definitely dealt with conflict here. Um, feelings which have been suppressed for a very long time are warring, are are wanting now to be sorry warning are wanting now to be acknowledged and expressed. You are torn between what you think is the right thing to do and what your heart wants you to do, and this is this is the primary cause of stress in your life. We, your angels, are due to follow your heart, do what you would, do what you love and what you think you should do. So. This masculine has been completely conflicted um, over his choice in the past, but also I feel like he's been totally conflicted over what he feels is the right thing to do with this karmic partner um, and also what his heart wants. So creativity, we your angel um, messengers are here to help release the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart. As we communicate with you through feeling and creation, let go of fear and apprehension and express the endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun and allow the inner child within you to express your true essence because all is valid. So, yeah, allow your inner child to express themselves in whatever, whatever um, way that means to you, singing, dancing, art, whatever it means to you, allow it to happen. So patience, patience is required at this moment. You may feel that things are not moving as fast as you would like, yet there is a there is a lot going on energetically. The current situation causing some, causing concern is actually evolving very positively. Let go and have patience. You will eventually realise that this whole event was in fact a blessing. All is in all is perfect as it is. Trust you're eternally loved and guided. So again, that's just another another um reminder to us to trust that although we can't see growing the physical, trust that everything's working over time and energetically for our highest and greatest good at all times. Manifestations, believe in yourself, trust your instincts and follow your heart. 
For in doing so, you shall manifest all your heart's desires. The life you have wanted for so long required, um, the, the, sorry, the life you have you wanted for so long, aspire to create, will soon manifest for you. So definitely beautiful energy of trusting, manifestations coming in. This masculine's going through some sort of major upgrade in their life. As I say, they're they're not sure what's going on. They're trying to get to grips with what's happening to them. But I feel they're getting there. They're definitely getting there. So let's get a song card before we close out. Sorry, my throat's just been so dry today. Um, let's get a song card. What song card best picks this connection? Hard for me to say I'm sorry by Chicago. <laughs> Is this love by White Snake? So this person's definitely struggled to understand this connection and what it is they're feeling. Um, photographed by Ed Sheeran. So this masculine is definitely missing you, feeling nostalgic. Um, probably looking at your photographs and really, really feeling emotional over you. As I say, this person can't eat, can't sleep without you. But they know they can't come back until they're fully healed and in the same vibration as you. And their vibration is rising. Back for good by Take That. So this person wants you back in their life for good. You Do Something To Me by Paul Whaler. Anything else? Run To You by Brian Adams. So I'll explain all these cards in a minute. Anything else? And I'll go through them one by one. And I'll hold them up as well. So I'm not going to read them all because my throat's always drying up. But all I am is you. So this masculine is not, feels like they are nothing without you. Never ever. So this masculine soul searching right now. And amazing by Bruno Mars. And the bottom of the deck, Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. Which is my twin flame card in this deck. So let's see. So I'm just going to hold it up and explain to each card. So hard for me to say, I'm sorry, pretty self-explanatory. This masculine is definitely struggling to come forward and express apology, but we did see the Page of Cups numerous times in the tarot space. So there, there is an apology coming in and this person has to speak their truth to you, okay? So is this love by White Snake? So your person definitely struggled to know the difference between real love, fake love, karmic love, you know, toxic love. Now they they understand. They understand what love is. I feel that. Never ever by the All Saints. So this masculine's really searching within themselves right now to figure out why they made the mistakes they did regarding you. Why they stayed in a toxic situation even though they know they love you. Why they, you know, got themselves in this situation where they get stuck by anyone at all. So they're definitely soul searching and trying to figure everything out. Run to You by Brian Adams is about somebody being stuck in a toxic relationship and they want to run back to the woman they love or the man they love. I just want to run to you, but this is someone who's um stuck in a situation, a toxic situation. Um, but when the feeling's right. I'm going to run all night. I'm going to run to you. So this masculine is definitely running to you now. All I Am by Jess Glynn. So this masculine is saying, all I am is you. You, without you, I feel incomplete. So Amazing by Bruno Mars. This person just thinks you're amazing absolutely the way you are. You don't have to change. And I say this to everyone, especially my personal readings as well. You're twin loves you just as you are they trigger you to make you think you you're not good enough and you're you know i'm not slim enough i'm not pretty enough not young enough but it's all just to trigger you into healing those things that you see as flaws in yourself but actually your person loves you exactly the way you are every single flaw about you they love if you feel you know like me you've got some extra extra love handles i just embrace them because I know my person loves them. So just know your person loves you exactly how you are, okay? You do something to me by Paul Whaler. So this masculine can't figure out what it is you do to them. They just know they cannot let you go. And the song at the start, Curtis Stagger, and I wonder why um, the lyrics of that song will explain why the masculine just can't figure out. They just know they're anchored to you. They know there's a love there. They don't fully understand what the push-pull is. 
back for good. They want you back for good in their life. Um, they're, they're missing you. You know, they don't want this separation anymore. Um, and in that song it says, in the twist of separation, you excel at being free. So this masculine definitely sees you excelling being in separation from them, whereas they're miserable and missing you and probably crying over your photographs. So there we have it, guys. I hope that's been helpful. And I uh, thank you all so much for watching. And thank you for all subscribing and all the love you bring to the channel. As I say, uh, the, the prize giveaways, the... I'll be bringing more information about the names I'm going to put in for the prize draw for all the Oracle decks. And I'm going to bring forward another competition with some fun goodies for all my subscribers. My new ones, even the ones that have just joined today, they'll all be up for grabs for all of you. So I'm going to put that in, in up for grabs very, very soon as well. But thank you all so much. I'm truly grateful and blessed. Blessed to have such a beautiful spirit family. Blessed by my beautiful family that I have. But blessed to really connect with all of you every day as well. It truly is a wonderful experience for me. And I love bringing joy to people's lives. And I hope I managed to do that for you guys. So you certainly bring joy to mine with all your comments and love. So thank you so much. And I just want to let you know how much I love and appreciate you, okay? So take care, everyone. Talk to you tomorrow. Namaste. Bye now.